<laughs> I may be running from it. Oh, thank you for coming. This is uh, this is really a, a good day for South Carolina and a good day for our team. We really have a great team and you see them standing here and some of them will speak to you in a moment and answer some questions. But in June of 2016, the U.S. Department of Justice issued a consent decree settling claims by the U.S. EPA and the Federal Trade Commission against Volkswagen. You remember that. It was proven that Volkswagen intentionally misled customers and regulators regarding the amount of nitrogen oxide emissions resulting from various engines. So the settlement provided for the payment of funds. And that is what we are here to talk about today because we have pursued that and we have been successful and here to provide the details as you can imagine this has got something to do with school buses. It's very, very important here to provide the details. We'll start with Ray Farmer. Good morning. Thank you Governor. The Department of Insurance is honored to have been selected as the lead state agency for our, uh, this project. After being selected by the governor, we began a, a public input process to solicit feedback on how the state should uh, utilize its $34 million allocation under the Volkswagen Environmental Mitigation Trust. We set up a website, begin providing information and receiving comments from interested parties. In the spring of 2018, we uh, released an initial draft of, of our plan and conducted a public meeting in May to engage uh, interested parties. We received comments from 39 separate groups. A second draft was released in July uh, along with a second request for public comments. An additional 58 comments were received on, on that draft. We published the final plan for the use of uh, for the state's use of these funds last December. So in March, we issued the first request for applications. We sought to fund up to $10 million in bus projects and provided 60 days for the applications to be filed. Every application had merit. We received eight applications requesting $29.4 million in funding, well in excess of our $10 million alloc allocation. So ultimately, based upon the applications as compared to our priorities outlined in our plan, today we are awarding $9.33 million in funding to replace 81 buses. 78 propane school buses will be going to the Department of Education. Two Proterra electric trans transit buses will be going to Charleston. One compressed natural gas bus will be going to the city of Anderson. These projects selected all utilize alternative clean fuel sources. Propane, electric, and compressed natural gas. These products, the projects will reduce emissions and provide clean, safe transportation to our students and our citizens that rely on public transportation. We are excited to utilize local and federal funding sources to partner with Berkeley, Charleston, Dorchester Council of Governments, and the City of Anderson to provide clean electric uh, transit options while also utilizing a local manufacturer, Proterra, to provide the electric transit buses in Charleston. We're pleased to have with us this morning Ron Mitchell, Berkeley, Charleston, Dorchester Council of Governments. Keith Scott with the City of Anderson, and Eric McCarthy of Proterra. While this initial allocation of funds is a great step, our work on this project is only beginning. We will issue future application requests to determine how best to utilize the remaining $24 million to the step. Now Superintendent Spearman would like to make sure we move. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like Christmas Day today. <laughs> Uh, I've had the pleasure of serving uh, alongside Governor McMaster, members of the General Assembly, and we've all been committed to improving the South Carolina school bus fleet. And I, one of our top goals always is safety of our students. And when I took office about in 2015, in January 2015, I realized very quickly that our school bus fleet was one of the worst in the nation. 
and we put that as a top priority to change that. And with the hard work first of the unsung heroes of those school bus transportation folks across the state, the mechanics, the bus drivers, our staff at the department who are here, Gary Fast, our director, Virgie Chambers, thank you all for making this, Michael, for making this such a top priority. I'm pleased to tell you that over the last three years, we have purchased 2,220 new buses that are now have the best in technology, the safest equipment, and even air conditioning. Can you believe it? <laughs> our third of our fleet now is really uh, where it should be, and we continue to improve. And I'm so thankful that Governor McMaster wrote me and encouraged us strongly to do a proposal for this Volkswagen settlement funding. We did that, and this is a happy day. And we've been working now to make sure that our fleet is not only safe and energy efficient, but that it is safe for our environment, a good role model for our students to see. So with this funding, we will be purchasing 78 propane buses that will be located across the state. We will uh, do that. Since propane, we have to build that infrastructure, and we've been working on this project for some time and have infrastructure across the state where these buses will be housed. But it's an exciting day. Uh, I am so thankful uh, that the Department of Insurance has seen the need and supported us in this effort, and I can tell you we will be continuing our appeal to them that we uh, are good candidates to receive more funding because this will give a better fleet for our children to ride to school every day. You know, the school bus driver is the first person that 350,000 of our children see in the morning. Uh, the school bus driver is the first person to greet the student and the last person to see them when they leave our care. So it's very important and I'm just very, very thankful and pleased that we are the recipients of this funding. Good morning, my name is Greg Little, I'm the superintendent here in Lexington One Schools. And on behalf of our board of trustees, our board chair, Cindy Smith, who's here today, um, I am so thankful and appreciative of the partnership and collaboration between Governor McMaster and Superintendent Spearman, who have uh, provided these 22 buses for Lexington One. Uh, we are absolutely thrilled. Our community uh, demands safe and reliable transportation for their children and our children deserve that safe and reliable transportation. And the fact that these buses, not only are they safe and reliable, but they're also good for the environment is really icing on the cake for us. And we're just thrilled to be a part of the process and thrilled for their, their collaboration and leadership that has led us here today. Uh, thank you, Mr. Farmer, and for all your leadership as well. And um, we're just very excited to be a part of it. And Superintendent Spearman talked about Christmas in July. And that's what today feels like. Uh, I know our school bus drivers are going to be thrilled to roll these new buses out and, and to know that um, they're going to be able to provide the absolute best for our children is incredibly exciting. Thank you very much. Listen, it's an honor and a privilege for me to be here this morning. And I want to certainly. Uh, uh, give kudos to Senator uh, Sheely. She is uh, stuck downtown. Uh, she said to please uh, take a look at her donkeys on the way out when you're leaving. <laughs> and um, certainly uh, Representative uh, Calhoun, we certainly uh, uh, know they both are here in spirit. But uh, what a great day. And we are very thankful for uh, Christmas in July. Um, and we're thankful for our, our superintendent, our governor. Uh, thank you for your uh, forethought on this and uh, Mr. Farmer we really appreciate it uh, certainly uh, Mr. Little we thank you for all you do Dr. Little and here in District 1 I'm very blessed to represent District 5 but we all uh, across the state are going to be recipients of this uh, this new day with our buses and we're very excited about it and it's an honor for me to be here and thank you so there will be more this is the this is the first payment out of that 34 million I want to uh, thank Superintendent Spearman for writing up her proposal so well to get the money to be used for these school buses uh, for which we are in, in dire need. Uh, that need, uh, we're working on it and it's getting better and better uh, as, we, as we stand. And Ray Farmer, uh, who followed the law, followed the rules, and uh, with a number of applications for the use of, of the money, determined that this was the best one 
for the children and the people of South Carolina, and that's, that's why we're here now. So we have a great team in South Carolina. Are there any questions? Yes. <laughs> so what, Mr. Farmer, what put this application above all the rest? Well, we had eight applications. And as I said, each one had merit. We addressed the, the state's needs with each, each one of them. So the, the Superintendent Spearman indicated they've been replacing school buses uh, all, all along. This um, additional 78 school buses certainly helped, helped set program. Well, and obviously there's 24 million left to dole out. Governor, would you uh, recommend that that also go to? That, that's up to Mr. Farmer. <laughs> but do you back, I'm guessing, the superintendent? We're request? hoping that, oh, yes, uh, we had our fingers crossed and we hoped that that's how it would work out and it, uh, and it did. Well, as you saw, the funds went to three different places. The majority of it, uh, obviously, went, went to school buses, but uh, the two electric buses in, in Charleston and one in uh, uh, compressed natural gas bus in, in uh, Anderson gave us the opportunity to utilize three different fuel sources. Can you talk about some of the applications that did not win? Um, this afternoon, all the applications themselves will be posted on, on our website along with the, the award. It's boi.sc.gov slash vw settlement. Where, this, where the school buses are going, is that based on the applications or is that how did you decide what, what districts to get them? Well, one of the reasons I think uh, I, I'm very proud of, the, the buses that we'll be replacing are 1988s. And the nitric oxide that is emitted from those buses is rated at, at 10. The new buses we're buying, propane buses, is 0 .02. So that gives you an example of how much better these buses are. Now, they do require some infrastructure, a new fueling station, those kinds of things. So uh, we have several of those around the state. And these buses will be going uh, to those spots where we have infrastructure. And they are, uh, of course, Lexington 1, Richland 2, Beaufort County, and Ori will receive the remainder of the buses and other buses will be moved around to to equalize as much as we can with the uh, newer buses that will be replacing those. Uh, director, what's the timeline for the other 24 million? For the next two years or, or what's the time? <laughs> We're under no set guidelines. Uh, probably within the next year or so, we, technology in this area is advancing so rapidly. We wanted to get this first $10 million in, in, in place and then take advantage of technology as, as it improves. Time frame on, I guess, when this will all be rolled out and when we we'll see these new buses on the streets? Uh, that's yeah. uh, a we'll, pl we'll place the order immediately and uh, usually we start receiving those buses within about four to five months. So by, by January, when when the second semester starts, these buses should all be on the, on the road. Two more questions. So the school buses behind you, will those be used like first day of school, or are they just kind of just there for show? No, those are buses, uh, Mr. Pass, I guess, for, uh, they are, these buses actually came from the Richland One school bus lot. They are propane buses. We have bought a number of buses. Um, Mike, can you tell me how many we bought already propanes we have on the road? Yes. Okay, so we've been buying some propane buses to try to move to cleaner energy, so they're around the state. So um, these will be rolling with children on them come the first day of school. Another question. Thank you, guys. Thank you.